The Bible in Isaiah 59 verse 19 says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. In certain parts of the world, where villages or towns are at risk of flooding, the advice given to residents when there is a severe flood warning is that they should evacuate their homes and move to higher ground. If they so happen to get trapped in their homes, residents are advised to get as high as possible and this includes going on the roof until help comes. And so when the Bible tells us that when our enemy, the devil, comes at us like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. In a sense, the Bible is telling us that in those moments when the enemy attacks our lives and attempts to drown us, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him and place us on higher ground. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 19 says, God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. And so I would like to encourage you right now to trust in the Lord. When you feel pressured by the enemy, when you feel as though you are overwhelmed, I want to remind you that the word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. We are told to be strong, to be courageous, and we are told not to fear meaning that we should be bold because we have the promises of God that he will never leave us or forsake us. Psalm 59 verse 16 says, But I will sing of your power. Yes, I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning. For you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Our God has infinite power over every situation and there is no better refuge in the day of trouble than our Lord Jesus Christ. So let it be your instinctive response to run to Jesus. Let it be your first response so that before you go anywhere else, before you ask anyone else or cry on someone's shoulder, go and speak to the Lord first. The enemy will attack each of us at some point in our lives. However, this is no reason to be fearful because in Jesus Christ, we have a refuge in the day of trouble. There is no need to be terrified because when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Now let us pray. Father, you are a holy God. You are a righteous God. I may not understand why some battles come my way. I may not understand why certain challenges are permitted in my life. However, what I do understand is that your word in Nahum 1 verse 7 says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him. I understand that your word, Lord, says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 18, the Lord will rescue me from every evil deed and bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Lord, I understand that in your word, you have commanded me to be strong and courageous. You have told me not to tremble or be dismayed, for you are my God and you are with me. And so I will call out your name, the name that is above every other name, 
and that name is Jesus Christ, my Deliverer, my Saviour. You alone can split the sea of uncertainty. You alone can move the mountains of impossibilities. Your power, King Jesus, can slay the giant of fear and save me. In you there is no condemnation. And so I ask, Lord Jesus, that you would speak the words, Peace be still over my life. I trust you to be my solution. I trust you to be my chain breaker. I pray that you would give me the strength to stand firm and to stand strong and to stand in unwavering faith, even when the enemy comes at me like a flood. Be with me, Lord, as I walk by faith and not by sight. You alone are my rock and refuge. Should I be uncertain about anything or unsure, Father, I pray that you would give me wisdom and clarity of mind. Your word in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 33 says that you are not the author of confusion but of peace, but of peace. And Lord, I stand and believe in your word. I come against any confusion in my life in Jesus' name. May the peace of Christ rule my mind and may it be found in abundance in my heart and even in my home. Nothing just happens, Lord, without your knowledge and consent. And I believe that as a child of God, as a believer in Christ, all things work together for my good because of you, King Jesus. And so I declare that the challenge that I'm facing will work out for my good. That situation that doesn't seem like it's changing, I decree and declare that it will work out for my good. My trust is in you, King Jesus. My trust is in you, Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I do not lean on my own understanding but I simply lean on you. I acknowledge you to be a loving and faithful God who will make all of my paths straight. You are my hope in the middle of seemingly hopeless situations. You are my deliverer at a time when I am so desperate to be saved. You are my provider. When all else fails around me, I can count on you, and so I honour you and I thank you. In you I can experience great joy and triumph. I can experience victory and blessings in you, Lord. I believe that the only certainty, the only thing that remains certain in this world, is that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. You are an unchanging God. You are faithful. You are He who died for our sins so that we could have eternal life. I thank you for hearing my prayer. Be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen.